All right, let's talk a little weather. We get to the weekend. Oh, yes. Woo beautiful day, <laughs> beautiful sunset. We had it all. Yes. Now the weekend's here and it's going to be uh, not as sunny. <laughs> Let's say that. Not, not as sunny. As sunny. <laughs> not as sunny. I don't want to take the oomph out of the weekend, right? Yeah, we got a little bit of rain for you. That's not a way lot. To put it. Uh, exactly. <laughs> hey, look at the sunshine today that we had a couple of high thin clouds. That was about it. Island Girl 565 uh, sent that Townsend, Port Townsend, Coopville Ferry. That's a great shot. And I love shots of dogs as well, sending them to us as well. Look at that. So sweet. The mountain out in the distance. Boy, that was just, just so majestic on a clear day like today, right? Highs today into the mid 60s, a slightly warmer than normal for this time of year. SeaTac got up to 64. Average for this time of year is right about 61. Now, tomorrow will be close to that average. And then for the week ahead, we go, we're going to slide down. We're going to be kind of cool for the week ahead. Sunrise tomorrow, by the way, 723. Sunset at 627. High pressure that's been with us gave us the sunshine breaking down. A couple of systems are going to pass to the north. The tail end of one, a very weak one, will pass tomorrow. And I say very weak because it's not going to give us a whole lot of rain. Uh, by 8 o'clock, we start to see the scattered showers. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, a few more uh, showers moving through, and then after that, it kind of falls apart. So you can see there's not a lot of rain behind it, and that's why our rainfall totals will be about a tenth of an inch of rain or less. By the evening, a few scattered showers, and we'll keep those lingering showers into Sunday morning about 9 or 10 o'clock, and then after that, we're pretty much done. We will see some sunshine, cloudy conditions on Sunday, and a little bit cooler as well. Snowfall levels tomorrow way up at 10,000 feet on Sunday down to 5,000 feet. And of course, that'd be pretty close to most of the passes. However, we don't have a whole lot of moisture to work with. So as we look at the future cast, looking at the snow by Sunday, it's only the highest elevations that'll see some of the snow. So I think the passes should be fine going and coming this entire weekend. Now your weekend getaway forecast the San Juan Islands, a couple of scattered showers tomorrow. We'll stay with some 50s for afternoon highs uh, from Yakima to Walla Walla, low 60s, a little more cloud cover Saturday evening into Sunday. Lake Chelan will stay in the 50s, rather chilly, a little more cloud cover on Sunday and right along the coast will continue with upper 50s. Tonight's lows, there's one spot on this map that I see right now. It's Olympia at 32 at the freezing point. Most other spots just above that, so not quite as cold as it has been. Highs tomorrow, upper 50s and lower 60s. So just a few degrees cooler than we saw today, thanks to all the cloud cover and some of those scattered showers. Again, not a whole lot of rain, but it'll be a cooler weekend, especially into Sunday. As we go into Monday, things kind of give us a break, and then we'll have the chance for these scattered showers just about every day. Eastern Washington tomorrow, most in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast. So tomorrow... Plan on 60 degrees or so. Sunday, we drop to the 50s. Monday looks pretty bright and partly sunny, 60 degrees or so. Joyce Gregg after that, eh, yeah, a little bit of rain, and we'll have some windy conditions on Wednesday. We'll watch that system closely as well. Yeah.